and we will start in the Big Ten, a team that I think might be number one in college football heading into this upcoming season. It's the Ohio State Buckeyes. Last offseason, there was so much progress made two years ago with Jim Knowles, but that was before the last two games of the year. The last two games of the year against Michigan and then against Georgia in the semifinal, that defense that improved so greatly throughout 2022 came back down to earth. So I guess you could say it was a somewhat disappointing year for Jim Knowles, the defensive coordinator, even though I kind of looked at the fact that they grew tremendously from the year before as a real positive. Some would say because of the way they finished, there wasn't a lot of progress made. So last year we go into the season saying, well, Jim Moles, he's, you know, he's got to, he's got to figure this thing out. You just can't give up 40 plus in the semifinal game. Just can't, can't give up 40 plus to a bo- to your arch rival. Well, the Buckeyes did just that. They held seven of 12 FBS opponents, their fewest yards per play and allowed more than 17 points just once all year. They were very, very efficient, very efficient on the defensive side. And while their offense wasn't quite as good as they've been in years past, they still finished 11-2 and two and had a real chance, if not for a turnover and a player here or there, to knock off the eventual national champion, Michigan Wolverines. Now, they've adjusted what they're doing on offense, and we'll talk about that on a later date, and we feel great about what they have on that side of the ball and the progress that will likely be made on that side of the ball. But when you look at their defense, this is might what this might actually be the strength of their team. They returned 10 of the 14 players who played at least 300 snaps, and they bring back some real difference makers. You got the ends and JT Tuimola Ao and Jack Sawyer, who combined for 16 tackles for loss and 11 and a half sacks. You bring back the linebacker, Sonny Styles, who was excellent there defending the run. You bring back a couple of great corners and Denzel Burke, who many people thought might go to the league, and Davison and Benoson, who I think are really, really solid there on the perimeter. And then you have a couple of guys up the front, like Ty Leak Williams, that might be able to take over the game from the tackle spot. Then you add Caleb Downs. That's right. You add Caleb Downs, who might pound for pound be as good as any player, regardless of position in the country, as a true freshman last year. And Jim Knowles, you know what he wants to do. I mean, he wants to utilize a lot of different faces, give you a lot of different looks, and you can make a case that there are very few teams in college football that have a better secondary as far as depth and talent than the Buckeyes. So a couple of storylines to think about there with the Buckeyes as they head into 2024. 